Eric Ham. He's CTV News political analyst. Eric, good morning. So things are about to get a whole lot more interesting as of today. So Governor DeSantis planning on announcing his decision to run on Twitter. Highly unusual. He could have done it on, what, Fox News, on a morning show, held a big rally. Why do you think he chose Twitter as the platform to announce his candidacy? I think he does this for two reasons. Uh, one, this is a man who doesn't really like to interact with the people around him. And secondly, by having Elon Musk, someone who's equally mercurial there, he, he uses him as a shield, particularly against Donald Trump. However, we see that isn't working as Donald Trump has already begun attacking both Ron DeSantis and Elon Musk in the lead up to this announcement. How is DeSantis trying to differentiate himself from Donald Trump, a man that he once openly admired, I would say adored, um, and now they're going to be rivals? Yeah, I mean, this is basically the student taking on the, the mm -hmm. teacher uh, in this instance. And what we're seeing here is Ron DeSantis has already attempted to outflank Donald Trump by moving to his right in an effort to try to uh, bring along some of those disaffected voters of the Republican Party. However, it doesn't appear to be working because, as we have seen, the more Ron DeSantis does in terms of attempting to try to implement policies that are moving him to the f further to the right, they, his poll numbers continue to go down. And Donald Trump, even as the scandal and crisis around him continue to happen, his poll numbers to continue to go up. Go back to February, and Ron DeSantis was trailing Donald Trump by about 13 points in real clear uh, politics average polls. Today, Ron DeSantis is trailing Donald Trump by more than 37 points. So already we see that isn't working. And perhaps he's thinking this announcement is a way to try to change the narrative. OK, it still is early days. I am wondering what you think about more candidates now throwing their hat in the ring. I'm thinking specifically about former Vice President Mike Pence. Do you think with DeSantis announcing today that it opens the door for others to come forward? Well, I think with already we're seeing uh, Ron DeSantis is going to announce today. Tim Scott announced earlier this week we're expecting former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie to get in at some point. And it is expected that Mike Pence will make an announcement. And Donald Trump is thrilled about all of this. The more, the merrier, because as we know, he controls about 30 to 35 percent of the base. And that'll be just enough that he will need in order to win with such a crowded field. So if you're uh, a Democrat right now, what are you thinking? Bring it? Yeah, if I'm a Democrat right now, I'm loving the fact that there's going to be this mix of Republicans who are going to fight it out with Donald Trump attempting to literally tear down each one of these potential candidates, much like what we saw in 2016.